Hi, good day everybody. It's Ibrahim here from Wilfred Car Center on Cape Town again. So today we're just going to show you one of our new additions to a product that we have in our shop. It's a smoker, but it's a smoker with a difference. So it's fully made in stainless steel. Your lid comes off. And inside here you have a brise tank. It's a stainless steel brise tank, right? And what's nice about the brise tank is it can be used on the top. There are additional accessories that we're hoping for to come this week. It's the rotisserie, so you can do your coals in there and you can have a chicken or a leg of lamb that will be used on the rotisserie stand um, and that you can do inside here with your charcoal, right? And then you take them off and for storage, it will go in front. And what you can then do is you can fill this with charcoal as much as you need and then you're going to come to the front of here you can put your chicken inside here and all that heat will come and you can actually smoke chicken with that as well and or obviously just to roast the chicken inside the stainless steel uh, smoker and then of course inside here you have your grid that you would be packing on your fish or your chicken fillets and then of course we'll do a demo on how it actually works but this is your grid part that goes inside of here and once you have all your, all your chicken is busy smoking and you leave it for a couple of minutes and you can do a check every now and then on how you feel if you want it more done so what we're going to do is we're actually going to do our first demo inside the Wook It Cook It Kitchen so follow me where we're actually going to do smoking of some snook right let's go so we in our Wook It Cook It Kitchen as you can see my apron as well um, we just need a couple of ingredients so we basically have our snook we have salt I'm going to use some mustard seeds I'm going to use oregano and then I've got food coloring, you've got a choice of either using the gel color or you can just use your normal food coloring and the one that we're using is the egg yellow. Okay, so basically how it works is you would take some water, throw it into a container and you would add the amount of food coloring that you want in there and the darker you want it, the more coloring you can add in. I do have a pre-mix of mixture, so I'm just going to keep that over there. So what we're currently going to do right now is let's stop. We're going to add our salt onto the snip. And don't worry, I did wash my hands. I'm gonna dab it in there to make sure it fits in there. Maybe just add a little bit more love. Okay, so simple, simple from here, right? Our snook has already been cut up in portions, and this is for demo purposes. So, what we're gonna do is this is the point at which we are going to uh, put on our food coloring. So, like I said, I've got my water inside here. And I've got the food gel that we just toss inside and like I say, the darker you want it, the more coloring you can put on there. And we're literally going to be brushing our snook. So many people wonder where the yellow color of the snook comes It was actually because of the smoking. And now it's not. There is a product called a Nato dye that you can get from one of your spice suppliers in Cape Town. So like I say, if it is something that you want a bit darker, just add a little more food coloring in and it shouldn't be a problem. So what I like to do on my smoke snook is, I use mustard seed. And just to make a slight difference to that, I use uh, something called oregano. You can just get it open. Different flavors. And there we go. So that is basically it. So over here, we have our own uh, smoker. And uh, we're basically going to be using this as you guys can see it's used already it's quite used effectively so let me just put this down here so basically what I've done is inside here this is our grid that we'll be packing the snook onto we've got some foil over here and we are just using oak so I normally like to use the uh, sawdust but we couldn't get sawdust so I'm basically going to be using the little chips of that so what I did was I threw a little bit of water inside this bowl because what I like to do is I like to wet my oak first okay and what it does is as the oak gets warm it starts to release flavors and it doesn't burn that quick so that is my little um, trick and secret to what I'm doing so we will literally be throwing our oak inside of it I've already thrown a little bit too much but uh, nothing wrong with that and at this point Let's just move these out of the way. At this point, we're going to be packing our snook, right? And you can see the size of the grid, so make it work for you. Smoking today. So, very simple. Snook goes into the smoker. 
We're now going to put our lid onto the smoker. Close the lid. Let's just move it. What I'm going to do is mentholate the spirits. I'm going to need a lighter for this one. Part you got to be careful for your spirits is lit and it's taken flame and Bob's your uncle so what we're gonna do is um, we're gonna take a short break now um, we'll do the smoking thing let it smoke and we'll come back and check on it in the next couple of minutes we're gonna leave it probably for around about 10 minutes and after that we should be ready for the actual smoke snook and we'll be doing the test tasting from there. So stand by for us and we'll be back shortly. Thanks. Okay guys, so we're back. Smoking is just about done. And uh, we're going to open it up. Please be careful, this is a little bit hot. And look at that. Absolutely gorgeous. Right. And we're now going to pull out our little grip. And look at that, absolutely stunning. Perfect, convenient, easy way to handle. So now onto the next part of our recipe. We need a, a simple pan, a spatula, our knives. The smoke smoke is absolutely perfect tasting it just like it. It's probably the most common way on a sandwich and a slice of toast, or any which way. We're gonna do a simple recipe, known to many households in Cape Town. We're gonna take a generous amount of butter into our pan. So the way I like to do it is first I get my butter melted. So while our butter is melting, we're gonna have a quick spruce. And this is basically what our smoked fish looks like. It's absolutely nothing wrong with that. Absolutely first class. Oak smoke for me is always the best. It's really truly really amazing. So we're just gonna bring the heat down. We'd like to add in garlic, and I love garlic, so I'm never shy of garlic. What we're gonna do in the meantime is, we're basically gonna prepare chili. We're gonna add in our chili, much more than that. And we can choose any portion of our smoked fish to put inside here. So we're just gonna bring our heat down a little bit. Absolutely perfect. And voila, a meal prepared, I think in less than 30 minutes. And this is our traditional smoke snook, smoke right here, perfectly smoke snook. Always with snook to be careful of the bone. It's nice on a cracker, nice on a sandwich. Absolutely perfect, nothing better. It's the way us Capetonians know smoke snook. And of course, we just made smoking easy to bring it to you. Simple. A complete meal for a full family in the space of less than half an hour. Um, it's got a nice tank to it, the butterness, the garlicness. So coming to Ukit, we've got our smokers on sale. For a simple price of 1,750 Rand, that gives you your full stainless steel smoker that can be used as a braai. There are additional ads on in terms of rotisseries and things like that, which we would be getting this week as well. It's available in store already. So something different at Hooker, something new at Hooker. So look forward to the next new adventure with us. Thank you very much. Okay.